Hello everybody, my name is Puppet Dean from the Geeky Puppet Show here once again on the Geeky Puppet Show today for what? For what? For Resident Alien. Of course, joining me as always is LLO Froggy. Yeah, that's right, bitches. We're back with a part two of season two. Or volume yeah. two. I guess. Season. Of the of the season two? The season two of season two. Season two, volume two. Two two? Do do do! I feel pretty, oh so pretty. Oh, well, that's, I, that's, yeah. that's good because you don't look pretty. Oh, <laughs> uh, but anyway, yes, we are here to talk about Resident Alien. We're back, um, and well, we we of course, if you're used to this, we always give a small recap and uh, give our thoughts. Um, well, where we left off last time, uh, blood. Yeah, Harry shot. Yep. Uh, Harry was shot by a man who. Well, yeah, yeah, he was. Uh, he was shot by uh, Harry. It turns out we were found in the season finale, or I guess not season finale, but the last uh, volume one, the little mini mid season finale. That when they went to New York, they found that Harry is the one that killed uh, Sam. Uh, the original, the doctor. real Harry, the real yeah. Harry did. So yeah. he uh, came back with the with the alien baby. It got loose at the party. Uh, that leads to him and Astro going outside. They're confronted by one of the guys that basically was working with the original Harry. They hired. They, they told him they were going for some place called Ga Galstron. I guess, or some some big pharma pharmaceutical company. Yes, that would that was making Sam Hodges and and the original Harry were making money off that. What are you doing? I'm trying to fix myself. Oh, sorry, you know, my boss. My yeah. boss came in. I'm supposed to be under the bridge. I came in for a break. Why I mean, I, back thought, there? I thought you already were fixed. We what, don't want what, any more why, why do you think the wall is all white back here? Because you're in a sanitarium with me. <laughs> why is yours black? What's wrong with black? <laughs> I didn't say anything's wrong with that. I'm not yeah. Zach. Sanitarium. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> yep. Anyway. Uh yeah, so uh, so the guy's there. He's got Harry's a loose end. He's gonna shoot Harry. He shoots Harry in the arm, and meanwhile the little baby is loose, round around, and uh yeah, yeah. And Asta then comes in. But and... but, uh, but before Harry got shot, the we to point out the baby jumped on Harry's forehead. He got a a, a, a flash a, of a memory. Yeah, a flash of a memory from the from the 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 uh, the, the baby's father. Uh, the you know, I forgot his name was. Do you remember what his name was? Jeff. <laughs> yeah, George, cool. something like that. Uh, it, anyway, it's not really important. Anyway, uh, so he there was a message saying that uh, Harry and them, you know, he's he's there's an alien invasion coming. Uh, the the bad kind, not the good, not his aliens, a different race. Hope it's not the gray ones. The gray ones probe. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, so yeah, the guy shoots him and the baby runs away. Astro yeah. at the last minute, you know, the guy's there, and then Astro shows him behind as the guy's worth getting ready to shoot Harry. Astro with the rifle shoots the guy in the back, kills him. Yes. And then we get an hour of Astra contemplating uh, whether she'd call the police or not. And Harry's like, No. I've watched you know these shows. If you tell the police. The bad guys find out you killed one of theirs, and then they come here and they kill your family, your friends, and you all together. It's better to just hush hush and make them disappear. Now, the bad the bad problem, the big problem with this is not even Astra. It's uh Darcy witnesses. So you so saw you saw the body, she saw this, she heard the gunshot. Uh so Darcy helps them the high basically stage the murder. At a motel where uh, we're going to hide the body. Yeah, where Mrs. Cooter or Pooper? Uh, no, no, no. Cooper? Uh, oh, yeah, Cooper. Yes, it is. Cooper. Yeah, that's yes. right. The town, the town skank, the one that's always uh, <laughs> right. well, she is in the show. Well, like, yes, but still. I well, anyway. Listen, listen. As a skank myself, I need to go ahead and just say. You gotta, you gotta be willing to. You gotta be kind. You gotta use the proper terminology. I said, "Mrs." I didn't say this is skank. 
You did say skank. I said I dressed it Mrs. Skank. Oh, no, 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 no. Just call her the town anyway. whore. Jeez. Anyway, getting back to this episode. Um, yeah, no. I, that, that be a that's not the bad part, though. Darcy no, 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 no. Isn't, isn't yeah. the bad part. No, no. It I'm is glad. Asta bitching for an hour. Oh, I killed a man. Well, to be fair, though, Asta Harry. is never. She's She just learned that the real Harry killed Sam. And every time she sees Harry, she sees the real Harry or uh, the other Harry that we used to work there. So it's confusing when your best friend, who's alien, looks like the killer that killed your 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 uh, father figure. And on top yeah. of this, she killed someone. Now I can understand this: when you kill someone, your first kill it does mess you up. You would know that intimately. Have you? Well, I mean, I mean, I can't say for sure, especially not on camera. Uh, but. Were you about to ask if I had killed anybody? Uh, well, I would not legally ask you that. Oh, well, I legally record? would not answer. Off the record, though? Listen, if I was if I was somebody who went around killing people, do you think Frank would be alive? What if he's your handler? I can't talk about that career. I'll talk about the bridge. <laughs> Just make me talk about the bridge. Please, please. Well, I've seen the bridge. That is the great show. Anyway, uh, getting back to it. Uh, yeah, so Astra's kind of got, she's got a little PTSD. She's traumatized. She feels guilty. And the dumb thing is that she's like, well, what if he has a family and kids? And as Harry pointed out, he was going, he shot me. Yeah. He was going to kill me. So yeah. she's still in a, a stage of shock, you know. So I think by the next, I mean, we see it at the end of the episode, she does kind of get over it. She realizes what's going on. Uh, You're misremembering the end. You're misremembering the end. Don't worry. I have your ending all up here. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. My ending? No, no, no. Because ultimately, at the end of this, Harry goes to great lengths because where they set up the body is it's in a motel that is debatably in the rival village that I can't remember what it's called. Can uh, you know? Jessup? Jessup, yes. yes. It's either Jessup or... Because the, the, but as they throw the, the, Darcy's idea was to take it to the motel and throw the body in the, in the, in the pool over there. Uh, uh, the, the hot tub. The hot tub. Hot tub. Yeah. And just make it look, you know, plant the gun, you know, and you know, just make and uh, make it look like, you know, he he's somebody shot him there, and there's no cameras there too. Darcy's like, if you want something to happen, the down low, you go there. And I'm thinking, Darcy, how many times have you used that hotel for hookups, yeah, or parties back in the Party. day? Anyway. So because of this, that there's a county line there between the town of Jessup and the town of Patience. Uh, but we're skipping a big part. Well, while they, did, they, they were talking to Darcy, and the body was there. You know, so I have to explain that they know that uh, the guy tried to kill him, kill him, and and they said it's. Uh, I think they told him it was Sam's killer, or whatever. It was gonna kill Harry. Or, anyway, anyway, so so Big Black came out of the cabin, and it, you know, it confronted. Him. He's like, "Well, is everybody all right?" You know, it's like I heard, I heard shot. He's like, "Oh yeah, yeah." He's just uh. Darcy's like, yeah, she's holding the rifle. Yeah, I was, I was just killing a raccoon or, or possum. Darn, no, almost got missed it. He's like, I heard two shots, distinctly two shots. And you no, know, and Harry's like, no, it was my birthday. He pops a little, little, little pop noise maker, poppers, like, hey, happy birthday. Meanwhile, the body's behind them under all the leaves and on the in the woods there. So that was kind of in big black kind of leaves and walks away. After 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 that, we see Darcy uh, comes and walks in on Astra and Harry, and uh, and uh, Darcy's like, "You got a wood chipper?" <laughs> <laughs> Darcy, yeah, but there's no wood chipper, yeah. so they have to hide the body at the motel in the hot tub. Um, yep. And it, it's it's pretty uh, long, but because of that, like we said, it's on the line, and because the hot tub is technically on the Jessup side of things. Well, the mayor is eager to have them be the one that holds a murder. Yeah, uh, mainly because uh, the past, well, the first season, there was a murder in his town, and basically it killed tourism. 
impatience. So he's trying to revitalize it. Meanwhile, his wife's having a baby, and they're trying to just get through their marriage things. You know, even even sit down in front of Harry. Harry's like, uh, and she's telling him, to, "Like, don't talk to me. I don't give a shit. You talk yeah, to your husband." <laughs> because because Harry uh, accepts the role of town doctor. Yeah, yeah. Specifically to do the autopsy. Yeah. But then the mayor goes and tries to mess it up. By, he, by, yeah. He's like, I, 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 he's, he's like, oh, we have a murder. Yeah. He's like, oh, goody, a murder. And it's like, and the mayor looks at him and is like, oh, yeah. I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, Big Black is very happy with uh, with murder. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but no, but, but uh, Harry was happy too, but he acts happy because like, and he's in there, he's like, and then he's like, he's like just like, He's dead. I'm not. I was going not to be happy about. True, uh, but also we all yeah. Let's ultimately, it. he is able to take the shell that was shot from Asta's uh, shotgun and plants it, so it looks like it was shot in the well on the county line from. Well, a rifle. It was a rifle, not a shotgun. Okay, I'm I'm not well versed with guns. Really? I looked at these fingers. You They're not the, good for shooting. You are the worst kind of hitman. Yeah, I'm not a hitman. I know you, Agent 47. I know what oh. you've done. Oh. God, that's profiling. You're just saying that because I'm bald. No, it's because you look 47 years old. Oh. Fair. Exactly. Any, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so they... So the air will do that. He planted make it look like because the whole the whole point is that he needs to do the autopsy. Yeah. Somebody else do the autopsy. They're gonna find out that uh, the truth, the, whole, the truth, and everything. He doesn't want Astro to go to jail. He doesn't. He doesn't want all. So he makes it look. So he basically using his, uh, I guess, what he's learned from oh, Law and Order. Do 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 do. And Darcy, they had, they had, him and Darcy things like he's like, yeah, loner, and, and she's like, CSI. He's like, what? Uh, anyway, so yeah, he play, he makes it look like you know. So basically, the shooter was standing on the patients where the gun was, you know, and they, and they find a casing there. So they basically at the end, he still gets to do the autopsy. Astra doesn't want to do it because she has flashbacks and she just you know, she almost goes and tells Liz, the deputy, but, then, no. at, but the last minute she sees her dad no. waving hide her across the street. She reconsiders what Harry said about and she uh basically yeah yeah just kind of like walks away after that just can saying oh yeah but, yeah you, yeah but but then yeah. they they actually go to do the autopsy because Harry pretty much convinced them and thus Asta comes in to help and she is staring at the body and she's marking it down she can't take it and so she runs off and she cries and Harry decides okay well, no. she needs to forget yeah, yeah, yeah. She needs to forget. Yes, yeah, yeah. So that's what he does. He wipes that night. The problem is though, night. because there was the problem is though, because he did this, it was revealed earlier when Astor went to go out well, at three p.m. I guess she went to go in the bar talk to Darcy, talk about who's she's talking about how she can't remember. She needs to forget this. Darcy gives her like, well, you just need to be normal. Yes, that's right. Everybody, she's here for a three p.m. normal whiskey. You know, yep. so, uh, but. When we also learned that she was supposed to go and uh, hang out, spend the day with her daughter, Jane, but she forgot because because she Harry because Harry wiped her memory. Harry did a good thing, but it was also a bad thing. Um, but there's one key thing we learned about Harry because he's in a human body. If he would have shot in the heart, he would have died. Yes, right, right in the heart, it would have killed. It was right it. above. Yeah. And so it, he has it, to deal with that. He has to deal with what also, if I don't want to die? Also, his blood is red. Yes, he's slowly turning more and more human. The more he spends human, he's going to become human. Yet at the end of this, he will be completely human, I bet you. Maybe. Uh, but overall, it's a good episode. I'm a, I'm glad we have a strong return of Resident Alien. I have been looking forward to it, and here we are. Um, the laughs are great. Uh, oh, the, the, so oh, many laughs between uh between the officer Black and and the the, the, yeah. the hey, sheriff. Hey, hey, hey! His name's Big Black. Respect it. All right, anyway, so uh, yes, yeah, Sh Sheriff Black, you know, he's Big he's, Black. He's... <laughs> <laughs> yes, Big Black. 
<laughs> I don't know why you're just staring at me. That's his name. Can I get through this without you commenting on how big he is? <laughs> well, I know intimately. Uh, uh, oh, well, well, wait, That's but... a bridge too far. I don't want to know about it. <laughs> well, you should visit, visit the uh, patient's bridge sometime. I'll never visit that bridge, nor will I cross it. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> All right. So, if you will shut up, I wanted to point out. Go ahead. We get to meet the sheriff for, for Jessup. And she's there. Or the detective. Actually, not that. Not sure if she's a de uh, the lead detective, and he introduces himself as big black, and she's what cool. I'm medium brown, and then Liz says, "I'm white." I'm white. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fun. That was fun. There's so much fun not to have on this show, and we can't even really do it justice. So if no. you want, uh, if any of this sounds interesting to you, definitely check it out. It's on Sci-Fi. What's going to do? Hurt you? No. Go ahead. So you know what I say about sci-fi television, right? That uh, you better watch it while it's there because it'll be gone tomorrow. Maybe, maybe, but it's good. It's not like their movies. Uh, but now that's that's pretty much it. We're going to have to wait and see where it goes next week. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Helps out a lot. Mm -hmm. Uh, and what we do readings on here too. Make sure to check those out, and we'll see you next time. So for Froggy and myself. Bye. Bye. Remember, only you can start watching this show. Yes, don't, don't, don't start forest fires. Wait, why would he start forest fires? <laughs> <laughs>